Under Mary Baron's leadership, General Motors has a lofty goal to dethrone the reigning EVS king in the next few years. The new Altium battery from GM is a surprise weapon that will shock the entire auto industry. However, many people may think Bara is punching over her weight. What benefits does this new battery offer? How does GM expect it to advance in the ranking of EV manufacturers? Your battery strategy must be solid to control the electric vehicle EV market. This is because you must defeat Tesla, a Goliath in the room. The business is renowned for its electric vehicle battery innovations and design skill. However, Mary Barra has thrown down the challenge. Her General Motors would not see Tesla at the top of the EV industry. Barra is banking on a company's new EV battery known as Ultium. However, the GM vying for the EV top spot is a very different GM from the one car owners used to know. Since its founding in 1908, GM has sold millions of vehicles, most of which have internal combustion engines. The Detroit-based firm manufactured 6.3 million vehicles in just the previous year. 2016 marked the most recent peak when it manufactured over 10 million cars. It's interesting to note that throughout its decades, GM has owned more than 40 brands, including the longest-running brand Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, GMC, and many others. Many other brands have come and gone, and the old-timers here can remember Bedford, Oldsmobile, and many more. That is not to say GM only recently tried its hand at electric cars. More than 25 years ago, even before the world knew about Tesla, GM inaugurated the modern electric car. Even though the two-seater EV ended as a disaster in an embarrassing footnote in the company's history, people with knowledge from the EV1 program have influenced nearly every startup and automaker's development of electric vehicles. The EV was a pioneer in many ways, but one of the things that doomed the EV1 was its atrocious range due to the lead-ass battery. EV1 came with 26 of them and weighed quite a lot, which forced GM to use aluminum and composites for the body. You may get about 15 miles on a single charge if you drive the car with intensity. However, with GM planning to make many electric vehicles, it needed to find the winning formula for the EV battery, which it has done with the Ultium battery. By 2025, GM plans to produce 30 new electric vehicles worldwide. The business is set up to create, engineer, and manufacture EVs in every style and price range. It is quickly enhancing its competitive advantage in batteries, software, vehicle integration, production, and customer experience to accomplish this achievement. GM declared earlier this year that it would spend a whopping $35 billion by 2025, a 75% increase. By 2025, it will generate more than a million electrified vehicles annually. These include models like the Silverado EV truck, the Cadillac Lyric, the Hummer EV brought back from the dead, electric vans under the Bright Draw brand, and many more. The secret source of all these EVs is the new Ultium battery, which GM has been working on for years and has just been revealed. Why is the Ultium battery so special? The first selling point is the cost per kilowatt hour, which GM brought down to about $100 per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level. Tesla has yet to achieve this, even with its new battery. This price point is crucial because the battery determines the price of an EV. A 100 per kilowatt hour EV can start to be priced at about the same as a gas car. Interestingly, the new Ultium battery cost is about 10 times less than the battery put in the vault in 2010. Compared to more recent EVs, the Ultium battery pack costs about 40% less than those in the Chevrolet Bolt EV. It gets better going forward because GM promises the second-generation Ultium packs will cost nearly 60% less than the batteries used today. GM also improved the cell design of the Ultium battery to increase the range. Tesla did something similar with its own 4680 battery. However, instead of Tesla's cylindrical cells, GM uses pouch-style cells. These cells are quite large, measuring 23 by 0.4 inches. These pouch cells package energy more densely than cylinders can. They weigh about 3 pounds each and hold 0.35 kilowatt hours of energy. They can be arranged vertically or horizontally to suit space requirements and are typically bundled into 24 cell modules. The arrangement is such that the Ultium battery is easier to recycle and reuse and makes it easier for engineers to optimize the vehicle layout. 
In terms of chemistry, the Altium battery uses nickel, manganese, and aluminum to cut cobalt use, but 70% relative to the Bolt EV's NMC formula. The aluminum also strengthens the electrodes and helps prevent lithium spike formation during fast charging, which can cause problems by short-circuiting a battery. This means the battery has a longer useful life than other batteries, so you don't even have to worry about whether frequently charging with rapid DC charges would destroy your battery. Another feature of the Ultium design allows it to use far less wiring in the battery pack. In fact, it uses 80% less wiring than the Bolt's battery pack. This feature is called wireless battery management. GM will be the first to monitor battery cells wirelessly using Bluetooth-like 2.4 GHz spectrum, slashing the weight, cost, complexity, warranty problems, and space that would have been required to solder all of those wired connections. The wireless connectivity constantly monitors battery health and shares info with the cloud to detect potential issues with certain battery batches, use cases, etc. Plus, it enables flash reprogramming when retrofitting newer battery chemistries or when repurposing a pack for its second life. The Ultium battery is a breakthrough, but how many miles can it power a car on a single charge? Each 24-cell Ultium battery model can store 8.9 kWh, so you should not be surprised to see 6-module packs rated for 50 kWh of usable capacity in the smallest, lightest vehicles. At the same time, a large battery pack with 200 kHz output can power the GMC Hummer EV. GMC estimates that the Hummer will travel 328 miles. The Hummer is too large to be rated by the EPA, so we have to believe Hummer. However, we could easily see over 400 miles on a smaller, lighter vehicle. The catalog is one of the first vehicle, electric vehicles to be announced to use the Ultium battery. With its 100 kWh pack, this car should deliver more than 300 miles. What about charging the Ultium battery? Is it fast? The answer is a resounding yes. Most Ultium battery packs will operate at 400 volts making them capable of DC fast charging at up to 250 kilowatts. However, there is a way to go even faster on the Hummer EV. You can virtually wire the two 400 volt packs in series, giving you an 800 volt system during charging. The car should be able to add 100 miles in 10 minutes using 350 kilowatts of charging power. GM notes that toggling between 400 and 800 volt functioning is a less expensive option than a specific 800 volt system like the one employed by the Porsche Taycan. The Ultium battery is adaptable. It may accommodate 6, 8, 10, 12, or even up to 24 modules, enabling it to drive the many vehicle types you may find in GM's portfolio. The design engineers can easily arrange the battery pack to maximize the vehicle's height and length for storage, comfort, dryness, and aerodynamics. Being devoid of complication is different from this. GM is developing 19 alternative battery and drivetrain configurations as an example. Contrast that with 550 options available with an internal combustion engine. The Altium battery has been made by GM to last a very long period. You may charge it at up to 100 times on DC current and still anticipate using the battery for between 150,000 and 250,000 cycles before it needs to be replaced. How will GM create the Ultium battery? The business will collaborate with other companies. To mass-produce Ultium battery cells, for instance, $2.3 billion have been invested in the Lordstown, Ohio plant. Ultium Cells LLC, a partnership with LG Energy Solution, makes this possible. More than 1,100 new employment will be generated by the plant. At the cost of $2.3 billion, GM will erect a second factory in Spring Hill, Tennessee, through Ultium Cells LLC. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. What do you think about the Altium battery from GM? Do you think GM can replace Tesla and become the number one EV manufacturer? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.